So Ezro does two things very well. In the first half, I'll show you how you can use it to audit your ROM library using no intro doubt files. And in the second half, I'll show you how you can use it to group your ROMs and make your library slightly less cluttered. So first step, let's audit your ROM files. On the left is my Sega Mega Drive ROM library. In the middle, I've got the Ezro app. And on the right hand side, I've got a Sega Mega Drive export folder, which is currently empty. So first step is to click this drop down, go down to Sega Mega Drive and click add system. Next, we want to choose our no intro dat file. And then we want to choose where our input ROM set is. So that's this one on the left. And then we want to choose the output folder, which is this one on the right. Great. So now we can choose what type of output uh, we want to do. So I'm going to leave it on all. However, the other options you can do are you can actually perform a one game, one ROM uh, output or you can choose your favorites. But for this video, I'm just going to choose all. If you did want to do a one ROM, one game configuration, what you want to do is click on config and then region settings. And here you can choose uh, which regions you want to prioritize. And over here, which is just clipped off the side, you can actually choose some presets. So if you want to, I don't know, focus on USA ROMs, you can do that or European, or if you want a Japanese only, you can do whatever. But for this video, I'm not going to do any one game, one ROM uh, exports, but just showing you where the options are if you did want to mess around with that. Personally, I think the 1G, 1R functionality in ROM Center is a bit better. If you want to know how to do that, check out my uh, earlier video. Anyway, I'll go back to export. So here you can choose any kind of uh, miscellaneous uh, ROM types you want to choose. Because I want to export all, I'm just going to choose every single option. And because all my ROMs are zipped, I want to go to Extract Compressed ROMs, take that. And that's pretty much it to kind of get you going. Now, the next step typically would be audit this system. But if you wanted, you can actually audit multiple systems in bulk. So for example, if I go to Game Boy Advance and click on Add System, you just choose the same options again. You can choose multiple systems simultaneously. So when it does come to auditing your system, so I've got Sega Mega Drive, I would just click Audit This System. However, if I want to audit all of them uh, at the same time, I would go Audit All Open Systems. But for this video, I will just go to Audit This System. And this window opens up, click on start audit, and it should just rename any out of date ROMs. There's one and there's a few more. So that's the audit completed. I'll go to finish. And now that's the renaming phase completed. And that's how you can uh, make sure all the names of your games are up to date. So just to double check, if I go to last action hero, you'll see it's now last action hero USA. Whereas prior to the renaming, it was USA comma Europe. And just to double check, if we open up the zip file, the actual ROM inside has also been updated, which is great. Now in my ROM library, there's currently 2,674 ROMs, which is quite overwhelming. And to be honest with you, a lot of them are actually kind of uh, semi-duplicates. For example, Instruments of Chaos, starring young Indiana Jones, there's like 10 different files or so, you know, based on the same game. Now this can be quite overwhelming, especially when you want to just pick up and play something. One of the cool uh, features of Ezra is I'm actually able to group multiple uh, ROMs of the same game into one folder. So it's kind of the opposite of 1G1R, whereas 1G1R actually deletes any kind of superfluous titles. Uh, this uh, process within Ezro actually allows you to retain all the games. So if I just go back to my auditing settings here, it's as simple as clicking this create game folder for each game tick box. And I just go to export this system and just move this here and go to start export. And you'll notice on the side, it's uh, exporting games into their own individual folders. So because this library is quite large, it just takes a little while to process. And just to test it, if I go down to Instruments of Chaos, the Indiana Jones game, you'll notice that all the ROMs are in there. So rather than there being 2,674 files in one folder, I've managed to reduce it down to 919, which makes it slightly less overwhelming. I can just click finish on that. And that is how you use Ezro. If you want to download Ezro, I've left a link in the description below. Give it a go. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please do subscribe to the channel. This has been Retro Crisis. Thank you for watching.